Hello everyone, Sean here, video 65 out of 365, and today I'm talking about something that's really important, that's really a huge thing for me, that gets me really excited, and the topic is, how, how do, what does it really take to do what you want to do in life and do it well? So, how can you pursue your passion and how can you do it in a way that you'll be successful at it and you'll really know that it's what you want to do in life? So I've always been taught that if you cared about something enough, if you really had a burning desire to do something, like you were so passionate about it, that's only one part of the formula. You have to be passionate about it, but you also have to be good at what you're doing. So there could be a lot of things you're passionate about in life. Let's say, for example, I'm passionate about reading. I'm passionate about uh, video games. I'm passionate about lifting, but I'm not necessarily the best at writing books. I'm not necessarily the best at uh, designing video games. I'm not necessarily the best at personal training people, but I, I'm passionate about it. But see, then you put that in perspective. Then you think, what am I passionate about, and what do I? What am I actually good at? So, for example, my, I'm going to use my brother for context. He is extremely passionate about art. He loves art, and he, he I mean, he, he has a bunch of artwork in his room, and he's also very good at it. He loves to look up all these different artists and check it out and get all these pin boards on Pinterest, but he's also extremely good at drawing, at painting, at spraying, all the different techniques. So he has both the criteria. He has the passion. He also has the skill. And when you mesh that together, that equals one intense combination to really you know push you towards success because I think a lot of people are passionate about things and they know they're passionate about it, but they're not necessarily good at it. And you guys got to remember that when you're going after something in life, you want to bet on your strengths. So if you're strong at one thing and you're passionate, great. But if you're if you're weak at it and you're passionate about it, you're passionate passionate about it, you shouldn't necessarily go after it. I'm only saying that because a lot of people are going to waste a lot of time betting on their weaknesses, trying to get that better, and completely taking their strengths out of the, out of the game. And I'm telling you guys, you're going to waste a lot of time, and you might possibly lose. Now, there's incidents where people have you know worked on their weaknesses and gotten better and ended up being successful and I can't necessarily cite those people now but that's very few and far between because there's a lot of people who try to do that and they just the the margin of success going trying to be something that you're not good at is way smaller than going after something you're strong at and you realize you're strong at and you pursue it every single day and you have the passion behind it to push you to eventually you will see success because that is what you need. You need the passion. You need to be good at what you're doing, but you also need to know that you can't, you can't not have a skill that you absolutely need to take that to the next level because that weakness you don't don't worry about it. You delegate it to someone who knows how to do it. So for example, if I want to do a marketing campaign to a company, I'm not going to market it myself because that's not my strong suit, but I'm going to delegate it to someone. Get it? It's pretty, yeah, it makes sense. So I kind of went off topic. I was going to go different with this video, but I guess I just want you guys to understand that if you're passionate about something and you really care enough and you know you're good at it too, and you think about it all day long, and you're in a job that's not in line with that passion, and it's not in line with those strengths, I'm telling you, you should leave. You should go after that passion now. Now is the time. Why wait till later? Why wait till tomorrow? If you're passionate about it, you know what you're passionate about, you're strong at it, you know you could do it good, go after it right now. Drop everything you're doing. I mean, obviously there's reasonable things. You have bills to pay. Yes, that makes sense. But if you, if you know what you want to do and it just burns inside your soul every single day, work your way towards that because you won't feel fulfilled. You won't feel like you're really doing something in life that makes you happy because your, your, your mind is telling you one thing and you're physically doing something different. And that's just a chemical reaction of just stress and pain and stuff you just don't want in your life. So go after your passion. Cash in on your passion, guys. Go after it now because there's no better time. There is so much opportunity in this life. A lot of people waste a lot of time because they're complaining about how their life is. They complain that, oh, there's not, an, there's not enough. Scarcity mindset. How can I get a job? I can't get a job. Everyone has the best job. That's BS. There's always enough. There's always people out there who are willing to hire you. There's always, there's, 
there's just so much opportunity in this day and age we live in too. People have made it so much easier. There's so many people who have came before you who have done exactly what you want to do and they've done it really well. And you know what they did? They left a blueprint. Success leaves clues. That's such a common quote, but it's so true. Success leaves clues. People have gone before you. They tell you how they did it. And what you do is you copy success. When you copy success, when you model success, you get the same result. As long as you do the same things and you implement the same type of actions, you will have the same sort of results. It might not be exactly the same, but it'll be very close to it. So I hope you guys are getting the connection between passion and strengths and how that comes together and how that if you want to go after it, there are people, there's mentors who have set up these maps for success and you just need to follow it, implement what they implemented and model them and you'll have the same thing, guys. I guarantee it. So thank you so much for watching this video. It was more of a rant than anything. It's one of the longest videos I've had. But if this made any difference in your life, if you just feel like something clicked today, Share with a friend, because if you did, if it did and it made a difference, you know, like I always say, I did my job. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Video number 65. I will catch you in the next video tomorrow, like always, and have a great night. And be passionate, stay passionate, and go after your dreams every single day. Take it easy.